Hi everyone, welcome to Shruti's Pharma World. Today I am going to talk about energy losses. When a fluid is flowing through a pipeline, that fluid may experience energy losses in several ways. Some of them are friction losses, losses in fittings, enlargement losses and contraction losses. You are familiar with the laminar and turbulent flow, types of flow that we have already studied. These types of flow may be the reason for friction losses. Frictional forces also create pressure drop. The pressure drop due to friction in a fluid is directly proportional to the velocity of the fluid. It is directly proportional to the density of the fluid and directly proportional to the length of pipe. And this pressure drop due to friction is inversely proportional to the diameter of the pipe. Frictional force may be a reason for pressure drop. The pressure drop due to friction is directly proportional to the velocity of the fluid, density of the fluid, length of pipe, and the pressure drop due to friction is inversely proportional to the diameter of the pipe. All these factors combined into a single expression which is known as fanning equation. Here you can see our fanning equation delta Pf equal to 2Fu square L rho divided by D. This is fanning equation and this equation is used to calculate the friction losses respective of the nature of flow. Here delta Pf represents the pressure drop and F is the friction factor. Whether it is turbulent or laminar flow, it is not a problem. We can use this fanning equation to calculate the friction losses. But this fanning equation is valid only when the fluid is flowing through a straight pipeline. The value F, F means friction factor. The friction factor depends on the nature of the fluid and the roughness of the inner surface of the pipe. We can reduce the frictional losses by adding some soluble high molecular weight polymers in low concentration into the fluid. Like that we can reduce the frictional losses. hagen poiseuille equation this is also used to calculate the pressure drop due to friction but this is only valid for viscous flow. We can use fanning equation to calculate the pressure drop respective of the nature of the flow. But this hagen poiseuille equation is only valid for viscous flow. Delta P equal to 32 L U eta divided by D square. This is again Poisley equation. Here eta is the viscosity of the liquid. Move on to the next point. Losses in fittings. Normally larger number of fittings are included in a pipeline. When a liquid is flowing through a straight pipeline, then fanning equation we can use to calculate the pressure drop due to friction. When fittings are introduced into our straight pipeline, then there will create some disturbances due to this uh, fittings that result additional loss of energy. You can see different types of fitting, elbow fitting, T fitting, coupling fitting and globe valve coupling fitting. These are the different types of fittings uh, that is normally introduced into our straight pipelines. Uh, when we are introducing these types of fitting into our straight pipeline, so some kind of disturbances will be created there. Uh, that, that results uh, additional loss of energy. It is very difficult to specify the loss of energy due to each type of uh, fitting uh, because a number of fittings are uh, available. Losses in fittings may be due to change in direction, for example, elbow fitting and change in type, example, coupling fitting. We can calculate the head loss due to uh, fittings uh, using this equation H is equal to KV square divided by 2G. Here H represent the pressure loss in terms of fluid head. K is the manufacturer's published uh, constant. V is the velocity of fluid. G is the acceleration due to gravity. Move on to the next point, enlargement losses. Here you can see our pipeline. This is the cross section of the pipeline. In this case, the cross section of the pipeline enlarges gradually. Okay, because of this gradual enlargement, the fluid adapts itself to the change section without any uh, disturbance. So there is no loss of energy due to the gradual enlargement of this cross section of the pipeline.
uh, but in the case of sudden enlargement of the cross section due to the sudden enlargement of the cross section of the pipeline a disc current will develop and that results loss in energy in the case of sudden enlargement of the cross section of the pipeline and the fluid flow is turbulent in nature then uh, we can uh, calculate the head loss using this equation delta h e equal to u1 minus u2 square divided by 2g he means loss of head due to sudden enlargement uh, next point is contraction losses okay here you can see the cross section of the pipe is reduced gradually so there is no loss in energy but in the second case the cross section of the pipe reduce suddenly due to the said this current will develop and that result loss in energy uh, in this case uh, velocity of the fluid in this region is very less as compared to the velocity of the fluid in this cross section so we can neglect this value the energy loss due to sudden contraction uh, can be calculated using this equation delta Delta H C equal to K U two square divided by two G. So today's class we have covered uh, energy losses and what are the reasons for energy losses. Hope you understand. If you have any doubt, please contact me. Thank you.